the education program leader for the National Music Center, coming at you today from Studio Bell. How often do you spoon? You know, spoon. The number one best thing to do with a spoon is eat ice cream. The second best thing you can do is make music. Playing the spoons is one of those skills that every human should have. Because A, spoons are always around, and B, music's always better with two. Does it take a little bit of practice? A little bit. So today, let's go over the basics of spooning. Don't let this skill pass you by. Some spoons are designed better to play them musically. A couple things that make it easier is a wide stem. Bigger spoons are better. I mean, you don't want a giant spoon, but tiny spoons will be more difficult. When playing the spoons, you actually hold them back to back. Hold the first spoon upside down, then take the other spoon and lay it side up. So your index finger is going to go in between the spoons and then holding the back right here. Ideally, there's going to be just a tiny bit of space between the spoons when you hold them. Just separated. The wonderful thing about this is that it becomes a drumstick that makes the same sound no matter what I hit. Now you should not be feeling any pain in your leg. If you are feeling pain, you are hitting your leg too hard. A slight tap should do. Once this is feeling comfortable, you will want to experiment just hitting around different places on your body. Just to get used to the feeling of them clinking together. But after a little bit of this, we will want to play along with an actual beat. I'm going to set a metronome. This is a nice, fast pulse, easy to get into. The first thing I'm going to do is practice hitting along with the pulse on each knee. So feel the pulse. One, two, three. 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 Now hover your hand above your knee. Tiki tiki ta. Tiki tiki ta. Tiki tiki ta. If that's too easy for you, there's a couple of advanced things that you can try to do. Some spoon hits can cup on the hand, which gives it a different feel. So every once in a while, try to get a hit in, making a seal for that extra pop. One rhythm the spoons are very good for is the ta tiki ta tiki ta tiki ta. Here's one advanced move that you can use to show off to your friends. I call this the super finger fan. I don't know if anyone else calls it that. But what we're going to do is hold our fingers out stiffly and then you run the spoons along that. You can use that for emphasis. So spend a bit of time on the super finger fan move. If you don't have a metronome or if you find metronomes to be devices of torture, then of course it's even better to play along with your favorite music. Now let's say you're into this but holding the spoons is just not going to happen. It's hurting your fingers. You can buy ready-made spoons and you can do all the same exercises. So, go forth, spoon. There's no good reason to not to. Until next time, happy exploring. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and or subscribe. Also, the National Music Center is a charity that relies on donations. So if you have the means and feel like it, please go to studiobell.ca slash donate.